What's going on everybody? You already know it's the Dooley King back with another video. Today, a little bit of a sentimental value day, you know what I'm saying? As you can see in the background, obviously it's another Chevy. You know I love my Chevys. Uh, one day I'm gonna show you guys my car collection. I got too many projects, you know what I'm saying? My homeboy Diedrich, now he got some cars. You know what I mean? I mean, that, that dude got more duallys than what I got. And I got seven. You know what I'm saying? So really, technically, he the real dually king. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, this right here, this truck right here, it kind of explains a whole lot for me. Let's go ahead and get a, a look around. And I'll go ahead and give you a short story on kind of kind of how this truck really came about. So I want to give a shout out to my homeboy, Rob. Um, he ended up uh, sending, me, sending this to me in... Um, uh messenger and so i was like oh man dude i got to go get the truck you know what i'm saying so i don't think the doors is unlocked yeah they locked but otherwise i was gonna get some interior pictures for y'all but this truck is actually kind of hurt you know what i'm saying i mean man all that's messed up. This truck had a roll pan on it at one point in time. How they do all that is beyond me. Um, the bed is split right here. I mean. Yep, it's also split right here too. Same thing for the roll pan go down here. I mean, man. Yep, so anyway, uh, I think this truck is like a 96, maybe a 98 or something. But anyway, the name of this truck is called Big Bad Leroy Brown. I named it that because um, it was big, bad, beautiful. And at, at its time, it wasn't a dually around that can actually mess with this truck. You know what I'm saying? I had my homeboy Bravo originally throw down on the paint. As you can see, you know what I'm saying? The pearl in the orange and in the brown. Um, I had 24s on it. Um, I ended up putting the Dodge mirrors on there. I mean, just, man, when I bought this truck, it did not look nothing like this. So anyway, I completely redid this truck from top to bottom, everything. So just kind of give you a little, little playback. Well, years ago, when I built this truck, I actually, when this whole Dually King thing started, uh, this was one of the first trucks that I actually had built. Um, and I ended up selling this truck in order for me to buy more wheels so that I can continue to grow my business and everything. So I hated to get rid of it. I didn't want to get rid of it at the time, but I ended up going ahead on and selling it. So when I ended up uh, selling it, I never seen the truck again. Last I know it went to Indianapolis. So, you know, me and my buddies, we always talking and stuff. And so um, it happened to come up in conversation that, hey, look, you know what I'm saying? You know, what my history was, you know what I'm saying? Like how many vehicles I done had, what I done done to them and stuff like that. So that's kind of how the word got out about this, you know what I'm saying? And well, anyway, uh, one day I just happened to get a message up on Facebook and, you know, one of my homeboys, uh, Rob, ended up sending me this listing and it was over in Ohio. I didn't, when I seen it, I could not believe how much that they actually demolished this truck. I could not believe that they, they, they did all of that to this truck. You know what I'm saying? I mean, people, it just amazes me that people can get something of, of a certain value and just don't take care of it. How all of that stuff happened is beyond me. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, man, like that truck, it's, it's been it's been some rough years for it after it ended up leaving my hands. So, like I said, anyway, I hit the guy up. He said that he'd go ahead on and sell it. Um, it was posted up on Marketplace for 2,900 bucks. And so I went ahead on and, and bought it back. And I actually, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a, 
it's got sentimental value to me now so now i'm going to go ahead on and rebuild it and i'm actually going to keep this truck um you know just like i should have had you know years ago but honestly letting this truck go is kind of what put me in this position that i'm at today so i'm definitely feeling blessed and i'm feeling you know what i mean i just appreciate you guys coming on this journey with me um but yeah that's kind of the backstory as far as on that truck it does need a lot of work i'm not gonna sit here and say that it don't because it does but that truck really does mean a whole lot to me it reminds me of where i come from i always told myself that when i get into a position that i don't have to sell anything that's exactly what i'm gonna do you know what i mean i'm gonna try and keep as much stuff as possible um with that being said i mean that's probably why the reason i i, I got so many toys now i don't need that many you know but you know i like my vehicles you know what i'm saying and i love dualies and i love six wheels it just reminds me of exactly where i come from i used to have 64 impalas low riders hydraulics motorcycles all kind of stuff you know what i'm saying but dualies is really what what makes me happy dualies and low riders you know what i'm saying them, them, them two type of vehicles right there just they does it for me so uh but yeah anyway that's the backstory as far as on that so i am going to go ahead on and redo it um the body everything is still solid from that point on i went ahead on and picked up a new bed um and all of this right here it's got a bunch of you can see kind of like i don't know paint peeling rock chips and everything so all of that stuff's gonna have to be resprayed sanded down none of it's bad it just needs it just needs tightened up they did a lowering kit on here just on the front alone why i'm not for sure as you can see underneath it yes big big ass puddle i don't know what it's leaking i don't know what it's leaking you know what i'm saying it's probably transmission fluid hell could be oil i'm not for sure all i know is when i went and picked it up um obviously i didn't i didn't want to waste a trip i already knew that i was taking it home before i had even got there so I uh, went ahead on and drove it home. It drove like crap. He told me that the steering gearbox was messed up. I think what happened if um, they, they tried to adjust the steering gearbox to get the play out of it and tighten it down too tight and it's got a real bad memory steer. So when you're going down the road, it just, you know, yanking all over the road. You know what I'm saying? When you hit a bump, I mean, really it was kind of scary. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Driving that thing home. You know what I mean? I only end up doing like 50 mile an hour coming on home because it was pretty scary but anyway made it on home battery died and i'm like of course of course it did because what else can go wrong right uh so but yeah like i said that's pretty much what my intentions are with it get it back up and running the motor and everything run good transmission switched out fine uh didn't it ain't got no ac or nothing in it um like i said really get that bed fixed uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as on the front end if I'm gonna lift it back up or lower the back end to match it I don't know what wheels I'm gonna go with. I kind of got an idea thinking maybe like some 26s um, Maybe something like that. I ain't even hundred percent sure, but I just know that I gotta go I gotta show out on it because That was you know, like I said one of my first vehicles and it means a whole lot to me So when I had the opportunity to buy it back, I had to go ahead on and do that. So Anyway, I was up on Facebook, found a, um, I found a, I made a post up on Facebook about uh, uh, looking for a, a pretty clean dually bed. Well, there was a guy up off of Facebook, definitely want to give him a shout out. Uh, he hit me up, he said, hey, look, I got one. Uh, bad thing about it was, he was all the way, all the way in Georgia. For y'all that don't know, I'm actually in Indiana. So it was a 12 hour ride to go from here all the way to pick up the bed and i'm like man you know that's that's quite that's quite quite a bit of ride i couldn't find anything around here and then the ones that i did they don't want to respond to the messages and stuff like that i'm not going to chase you in order for you to make some money it's just that simple if you want to sell it sell it if you don't i'm not going to chase you for it it ain't that deep to me so this is what i end up getting end up getting another bed so i went ahead and set it up on these um drums and stuff like that so that uh it's pretty easy for me to pick up with the forklift and get ready to, to drop it down on the truck but a totally rust free bed i can definitely handle that i ain't got no problems there 
Yeah, inside and everything is clean. It's got a gooseneck ball hole in it, but that don't matter to me. Because what my intentions is, is to cut the floor out of that one and just weld it in as a patch panel on this one. So it ain't, I'm not even, I'm not even worried about that in the slightest bit. Um, so as far as on this bed, anyway, uh, my dad ended up driving all the way to Georgia to pick this uh, bed up for me. So definitely shout out to you, Pops. That meant a lot to me. Um, you know, so I definitely appreciate it because that saved a whole bunch of steps for me. And he drove, you know what I mean, one day going down and he drove a whole day, you know what I mean, coming back. Um, you know, so like I said, greatly appreciate it. You know what I mean? But, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much where we're going as far as on that truck. So I'm definitely going to get it together. You already know I'm going to keep you in the loop on this journey and what I'm going to be doing to it. So I know that this video was more talking than anything, but that truck right there, I had to go ahead on and let y'all know, you know what I'm saying? That, that truck is getting ready to come with that, with that hitting, you know what I'm saying? But that truck, yeah, it's getting ready to be nice for sure, for sure. I don't, like I said, I don't know exactly what my plan was. I thought about putting it on 24 by 16s in the rear, slamming it down. Then again, I thought about 26s. I don't know what I want to do. I don't think I want to put air or nothing on it. I think I just want to, you know, keep it and make it nice. You know what I'm saying? Because before all I had was 24s, good suspension and stereo and all that. And it rode good. You know what I'm saying? So, and like I said, the name of the truck is Big Bad Leroy Brown. So I don't know. I don't know. Jump in the comment section. Let me know, you know what I'm saying, what y'all what y'all think that truck would look good on. As far as on the paint job, obviously it's got to be repainted. I just don't know if I'm going back with that same exact color scheme to keep it original to what it was built at or if I'm going to go with something that's um, way more custom, you know, like another candy candy uh, color or I don't know. I kind of been feeling like them candy pegging golds. Um, I love my copper oranges and stuff like that. I don't know you know what i'm saying but kind of let me know what y'all what y'all would maybe like to see on that truck you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna get it together for sure like i said i got seven dualies and eventually <laughs> y'all gonna see all of them you know what i'm saying my place is full of them the shop is full of them you know what i'm saying and i got a couple in storage so um man like i just got too much stuff but anyway like i said i want to bring it bring y'all on this journey with me so I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm not going to keep talking y'all ear off. I hope y'all enjoyed a little bit of content and the story, you know what I mean, based off of this truck right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try and uh, put some uh, photos in here so y'all can see what that truck went ahead and looked like the day that I sold it, along with when I had it, what it actually looked like with the 24s and stuff like that. So y'all go ahead on and enjoy these pictures real quick. I ain't going to hold y'all. I got to go ahead and get on up off of here. It's hot. It's like 90 something degrees with 103 index heat index i'm ready to cool on off and jump off up in some ac so i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here appreciate y'all you know what i mean staying with me so i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here um so before you leave this before you leave this video make sure you like comment share subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss another video it's the doula king signing off peace